So, while you are watching this episode, you may notice that there are a lot of cuts in between what we're saying. I got a new phone and it fucking hates Discord with a passion. <laughs> Almost as much as Rockstar and PlayStation hate us when we play games. What is up all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McB here and welcome to another episode of Nerds New Sexy Entertainment Podcast. Episode 115, Part 3. And today I am joined with... Oh, that's my cue, isn't it? Wildfire 1! God. It, it's going to be one of those days. It's gonna, it, it has been. It's going to... It's going, so, and it, you guys already know me. I'm Wildfire 1. Usually everyone else misses their cue. It's my turn today. So it's okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm also joined with... Baby Girl of Doom. Obviously, because it's part three, we're still talking about Game of Thrones. So, oh. part three of the Game of Thrones podcast, this will be, I guess you can call this the finale. Because, you know, Game the of Thrones finale. had a finale. And we're going to be talking, again, about our favorite parts and, and whatnot. We're just going to end it. We're done. We're uh, Game of Thrones, like, we originally we are like, we're going to do seasonal and then we're like uh, 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 that's a lot of shit to talk about well if, if if you watched part one you'll realize that seasonal um we tried getting uh, our plan was to go one through three three through six and then seven eight uh, part one we recorded for about three hours and got through season one <laughs> and then a fire happened yeah, and then uh, uh, the hill behind my house lit up on fire, so. Um, Damn them hippies. Bonus content. <laughs> yeah. You froze up. Uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm not even going to edit that. I'm just going to let it, because it's hilarious. Let it ride. Cut. That's probably not going to happen, because my shit froze again. <laughs> We've been recording for 45 fucking seconds, and it's frozen three times. You're good. You look good. You're pretty. You look lost. <laughs> you look confused and pissed off. Okay, so this is coming out next weekend, right? Yes. Next weekend. So um, we were originally going to do this last week, mm -hmm. but things came up. As and they we tend to do. We to do it Friday, which is tomorrow because today's Thursday, but that wasn't going to be possible because... I'm going to be up at the butt crack of dawn and stuff. after getting home from the butt crack at night um, to go work a festival and propose to my girlfriend. Yay. You froze up again. Are you fucking kidding me? And then if it's frozen, we'll just we'll just let it stay that way. And it can be like that the whole time. And we, I can just look okay, back if, and laugh If it freezes again, use this. <laughs> okay. I'm going to propose to my girlfriend on Sunday. Yay! Showed them Big the news. ring earlier, and Wild completely Pretty. forgot that it was this weekend, and... Mm hmm Well, you told me that it was a thing, and then, like, you know, things happened between then and then. Like, you told me, like, three months ago. I've been planning it for... Three months? Just shy of a year. What did we live off last season? Or last, last episode? What did we leave off last episode? We... Well, let's talk about our favorite parts then. We already talked about a lot. Um, let's talk about like okay, my one of my favorite parts of the the show is jo Joffrey dying. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Even the red wedding. Even the red wedding I liked, but it was like like it was more shock value. I was like, no. I, what I liked better than the red wedding was the red death. Which one was that? When um, Arya killed that entire family. Oh yeah, we were just talking. We talked about that last last episode. Yeah. That was wow. one of Baby Girl's favorite parts. So great. When Arya so great. when Arya comes back and feeds the dad the fucking kids and then fucking the, the, the sons. Yeah. Yeah, and that was beautiful. But yeah, Joffrey dying is probably one of my favorite parts. Like the whole ever since season one, I'm like, I want that little kid to fucking die. And I feel bad for saying that. Like I want that fuck little bastard to die. I want to bunt kick that bitch. You're frozen, by the way. But <laughs> I want to bunt kick that little fucker. 
your nose is twitching in in the in the freeze like like you're a bunny rabbit. Yeah, so the so Joffrey dying was probably one of the best parts, and it was really good. If you think about that that particular episode, that particular part of the series was really good about moving the story forward. Like, because at this part we were like stuck with yeah. Sansa being stuck at at um, Castle Landing. Keep, whatever. Yeah, King's Landing, Koopa King's Keep, where the fuck they're at. King's <laughs> King's Landing, and uh, more or less. More or less, the story didn't go nowhere for the longest time. It's like, you know, he's just beating on her and fucking being crazy Joffrey. And then that happened. Yeah. And, I mean, it, it, think about it. it. It brought forth the story for uh, Tyrion's story. It brought forward Sansa's story. It even brought forward, like, I, I mean, it even even he was a big part of, um, of, of, of Cer- Cersei's story, obviously, because that's her fucking son, yeah. right? you know? And uh, it, it there was a lot of... I mean, even even the uh, that other family, the one that actually got the kid killed, the Tyrells. Yeah, the ty- the Tyrells. It it brought forward a lot of the story. I'm not even gonna tell you, Grizz, but and don't worry about it. I'll just put a picture there. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from the from what I said, I like the the red wet the red wedding was good. I like the Joffrey death. What did, what are you guys' favorite parts? Um. My all-time favorite part is when Arya killed Littlefinger. Yeah. Finally like, fucking like, got what was coming to him. That part was really cool because it was very, it was very, um, like you thought that, that Arya was fucked. Like yeah. You, like Littlefinger thought he won. Because he's, well, it was like almost like a trial. Like they were holding a trial, but it wasn't a trial. It was like a mock kind of setup. Where he's they're standing in front of everyone and he's like and they're talking like Arya's fucked like oh Arya Arya turned on you and Littlefinger orchestrated the whole thing like he thought he was oh yeah he was in the in the uh, like in the riot or whatever he thought he he outfought everyone because that's what Littlefinger does and fuck that guy but uh, and then out of nowhere like Sansa just basically goes yeah Littlefinger like more or less looks at him like yeah you fucked up right. And then he's just kissing her ass, like the oh. There's so much story behind that too, because up until that point, Littlefinger was just trying to play Sansa, and she was just trying to get away from all these like really bad moments. He wanted the power that her name held. Yes. Yep. Up until I mean, even the aunt, like he played that bitch, like the like her aunt that like had that ten year old that was still sucking the titty. Like, yeah, that he, he fucking pushed her through the moon, yeah, the moon roof, the moon, the moon roof. Door. He made her fly. <laughs> Yes. We'll go flying. Bad people fly. We make bad people fly. Fuck that kid. And I honestly, I think that if Littlefinger did anything right, it was putting that kid out on his fucking own to become a man. He was I a still want to know what happened to that little shit. Like, I hope he, I, I like, I seriously hope that, like, after he got off mommy's titty, that he became, like, his balls dropped, and he became a dude, like, and just started, like, doing dude things. Did I fucking freeze again? You're both frozen on mine. You've been frozen for a while. I just hadn't told you. Your favorite was Grizz. Your favorite part was when uh, when when Littlefinger got his. Oh yeah. He had it coming, right? Like all the way from season one. I mean, dude, he, I wanted his ass dead season one. Well, I I really <laughs> wanted him dead after he betrayed the mom. So, baby girl, what is your favorite part of the series? Probably only because it's really important. <clears throat> was the. I can't even give his name right now. That C guy that got his balls cut off. Oh, um. It wasn't just his balls. No, yeah. Well, I mean, the whole. They literally made him hard to cut everything. Yeah, mm-hmm. but what was his name? Theon Greyjoy. <clears throat> had everything that he had coming to him. That was right after Theon took the castle from. Um, Winterfell. Winterfell, yeah. That's when they so, Winterfell. What's your favorite part exactly? That whole like scenario thing. Just Where because, he gets the yeah, tortured? Yeah, you have to think about it. He grew up with Sansa and Arya and, you know. And Rob and, and Bran and John. John Snow. And, you know, being a bastard son, being raised by somebody else. And then you're going to take the castle over? I mean, come on now. I mean, well, you're basically taking he, from the hands of Benjamin. 
Well, more or less, and I get that, and I see what you mean. Like, he deserved what he got, everything he got. And I think that his uh, his redemption story is probably one of the best. And, oh, definitely. It is. But you I know, mean, definitely. He had every, I mean, if I, I can see if he didn't take over Winterfell and try to, like, backstab all of them, but he did that. He literally well, backstabbed them. let's put ourselves in the situation here. Say, like... We're all in the one in in separate situations. We're all in the situation he was in. He's got his we'll say foster family, who is the the Starks, and then the Greyjoys, who are his real you know his dad, who he's all about in pressing. So I get like I I get I wouldn't have I really wouldn't have like in my position I wouldn't have turned on the Starks, but I get yeah. I get where the the pressure's coming from. He wants to impress his sister. He, he wanted wants, to prove himself to his father. And he wanted to prove himself to yeah. his father. What cracks me up about that is where he first meets his sister, he's trying to fuck her without realizing who she is. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. You get to see how much of a fucking cocky bastard he is. Like, oh, like, and she and she just goes with it. He was pretty bad. He was, he was a sex addict. It was very much... Uh, shown in the first season like when he was fucking that hooker and when he was when he was trying to get with the wildling chick that they caught you could yeah. tell like he was he wanted to get his dick wet all the time well i think he was just <laughs> fucked up in the head honestly because he wasn't all that great when he was with the star no he wasn't and but I, and, and like like i said i would i agree with like his conundrum i wouldn't have gone the way he went like fucked over rob stark and all that but i mean also, let's say he did stay with Rob Stark. Where would he be in the story? He he yeah. had a yeah exactly long before he 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 had a very important part of the story towards the end. Oh yeah. I mean, no, he did. He saved. You know, he came back and fought for the Stark. And he helped Bran, and all the way to the end, like all the way to the last man. He was the last man standing with his group. And he stood there and defended Bran to the very end. Like, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, I, I, I had a tear in my eye when, when he died trying to defend Bran. He was God. killed by the uh, the Night King. Hmm. And as the Night King was approaching Bran, that's when Arya oh. flew in out of fucking nowhere. Then got caught and did that fucking badass oh, moment. Dude. Dr it, like it, as soon as she got caught, I was like, "No!" I'm like, "No, no. you can't kill her!" No, and, and, and then I see her look down, and I was like, "Ooh, this motherfucker is deader than shit." Well, she had that like pissed off cat look in her eyes, like, like, yeah, like she, like he, she was gonna claw his eyes out, and I'm like, "Oh no, so Death she is getting you she, today, boy." She, she's <laughs> got, she's got a plan. Something's going on, and she drops the dagger, thinking, and he thinks that he knocked it out of her hand. Grabs it with her fucking other hand and just shanks that motherfucker. And it happens to be a uh, what? What's that kind of metal? Valerian steel. Thank you. It was Valerian steel. That's what I was trying to say. It was a Valerian steel blade. Valerian steel. And that's what. And that was like. And it had to have been made of. They didn't really like say too much, but it had to have been made from like dragon glass. It almost looked like um, they were Damascus steel. Yeah, I noticed that. It, it looked a lot like Damascus, and that's why you could tell what it was, like, because of the way it was forged. Well, I, it happened because Dragonglass is the only glass that can kill the White Walker. Or whatever. The substance yeah. besides fire. And, and really, Valerian Steel actually survived the battle. Like, you can you can sword fight with the generals, the, the White Walker generals, and the, the Snow King, or whatever we want to call him. The Night King. The Night King. And, uh, and, and your blade don't break. Like, everyone's blade just <laughs> fell apart or froze or whatever the fuck graphic they used. And, uh... Shattered. Shattered, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that that's a good... That your part right there, uh, Baby Girl of Doom, was pretty, uh, pretty good. Well, let's talk about favorite characters. Arya. Arya. Jon Snow. Yeah, and, and Jon Snow, yes. I, Arya's um, a close second for me. Like, Tyrion is probably, like, if... if Tyrion's I, top three. Top yeah. three, yeah. Like... Tyrion, like Peter Dinklage, dude. If I, if we ever have the honor of you watching this, just you're just fucking amazing, dude. Like, like an amazing actor. I've always liked you before this, but oh my god, did you bring this character to life? Oh yeah. Like we watched you grow. We watched Tyrion grow into like, 
like into this drunken dwarf dude into like a badass motherfucker who like did who manned up and did what he had to do including beat the shit out of his nephew who was a little bitch oh that's i loved every like time this. he bitch slapped mm. <laughs> oh yeah joffrey oh yeah most shocking moments See, that's hard to think. Uh, well, the whole the the whole incest, everything incest was pretty fucking yeah. shocking to me. Like, yeah. how much incest I, is I in this? Back to that though. If you think about it, every like medieval show, like the Spartans and all that kind of stuff, like. That but kid. there was so much incest. But there's always a lot of incest. It in began show. with incest. It even ended with incest. It, it did end with him, but I just I don't think that really shocked me because I kind of think that they do that a lot. In those mm, I I, I get where you're coming from. Okay, so okay, baby girl, what is yours? What is yours? Most shocking moment? Probably when the dragon died. Oh, are you talking about the first one when they when when, uh, when the White Watchers took it? Yeah, well, I, the sad thing is I was like, don't kill it there, don't kill it there, because those motherfuckers yeah. are going to turn it into a White Walker. Like, I knew yeah. that was going to happen. Oh, and then I was like, oh, there's going to be an epic dragon battle, and I was kind of happy about it. But, it, see, it but wasn't was shocking. No epic, that was not an epic dragon battle. It was, was dragons just... fighting each other. There is no, no such was... thing as not epic when two dragons are fighting. They could have made it better. They could have, but, you know, how much money did HBO want to spend? <laughs> yeah. One yeah. of the most shocking for me was when, um, I can't even think of his name, Joffrey's younger brother, when he oh. became king after him. Yeah. And he and just fucking took the nosedive off, off the fucking tower. Well, you could, you could oh, see, yeah. you seen how, you seen how, like, done with life he was after his wife got crazy? She got, like, brainwashed, more or less, by that, by that fucking, like, cult. And, and she literally, she literally was trying to save everyone, and, and, what's her name, Cersei fucking burned him to death with that, yep. with that, uh, What's that? Wildfire. The, 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 oh, what's her name? We were talking about her last the, Tyrells. the Tyrells. That that dude that like the main guy, the guy that was like religious, the cult. I'm gonna call him a cult. The religious cult. cult. Um, that guy. This. When you first meet him, you think of him as like a really nice guy. Like he's out there helping people. He's washing he's like people's the old, feet. The old man that like. Just like takes care of everybody. But he got power. He got he got an absolute power corrupts absolutely, and because yep. of and that, as soon as he got power, shit went downhill. I knew it was gonna fucking affect Cersei, and the moment and don't and let, let's let's I'm gonna ask you guys this: the moment she had to take that walk of atonement, shame, shame. ding ding ding, shame. The moment she had off. yeah, they cut her hair out, made her walk all the way to King's, like, the castle and buck-ass naked. Like, that whole, like, ding, shame, that whole scene where she's walking that. One was very fucking, like, over the top. Like, they, honestly, in my opinion, I think they, like, made that go too long. Like, we get yeah. it. And, uh, but at the same time, I wanted Cersei to suffer. I, I so I kind of liked it. Why did they have her make that, take that walk of shame when she's queen again? She wasn't queen. Well, she was she was queen. She was queen mother. So she didn't have the power. They, they were already fucking with uh, the younger brother's head, and so yeah. so she didn't have that power. I mean, she should have had the power, but they but that point, he had the younger brother who was king had given all the power to the whole. Yep. Yeah. So they took her, brought her up there, stripped her of everything, because, and she had no other choice. She at this point, I think she was just like, I'm gonna do everything I can to get out of here. They're starving me, and they're doing whatever. And then they make her walk that little walk of shame. What do you guys think? Do you think it was like, was it fun to watch? Like, did do you like that bitch deserves it? I mean, she deserved it, but at the same time, ten minutes of a forty-five minute show. Exactly. Like That's really. Funny. What about you, baby girl? They could have done like you know, dumbed it down a little bit, but. Yeah. Well, I get like people were whack. Well, like the guys wagging their wieners at her and shit. Why didn't they get fucking attacked? Why didn't yeah. they have to do they the walk of shame? They were wagging their wieners at him. But you gotta remember, it was all because of incest. Yeah, but he did get his face smashed in with the freaking butt of a that's sword. True. They did, they did kick his ass. Yeah, she kind of deserved well, all of it. At th at the end of the show, I didn't feel at bad at all for her. I think she got everything she deserved towards the end. Her, yes. Jamie, not so no, much. not and that's another. Let's talk about redemption stories. Jamie Lannister has. Maybe the second best the redemption. The Slayer. Yes. yes. Second best redemption story in this, because 
And at one point, they're trying to defeat the White Walkers. And the White Walkers are a big problem. And Cersei's like, yeah, we'll help you after them showing her. And then she's like, no, we're not going to help them. Fuck them. They're, they're going to they're gonna fuck up and we're going to take them and, and, and we're going to kill them. All this is, you know, over with and we'll win. And and Jamie's like, no, you made a promise. I'm going to go fight with them. Fuck you, fuck you guys. And he was the only one from King's Landing that went. Yep. But didn't he run? He also ran to save his sister. When- the, uh, he did. And, and it ultimately was his fate, unfortunately. But yeah. and I don't think he deserved it. And he was with that other. He was with that other blonde. He had a thing for blonde chicks. Um, Brienne of Tarth. Yeah, Brienne of Tarth. I think well because of her, but I think he felt bad for everything that happened, and he felt like he needed to help out. That and he probably was scared because he had a lot of people backing him. And when Brianna, I guess, vouched for him. I think he felt kind of obligated. But he, in the long run, his obligations meant nothing because he just left her there. Well, I was I really shipping that. those two. I really was. I wanted those two to get together, him and Brianna Tarth, yeah. and like, live happily ever after and make fucking warrior babies. Warrior. Right? <laughs> Do you imagine the children they'd get? Like the Kingslayer and Brianna Tarth, like the ultimate. Oh my god, those kids would, like, one of them would take. Seven foot tall badasses. They'd be beating the shit out of of the mountain and everything. Jamie was badass with two hands. When he lost his hand, he learned to be badass with one hand. Until he. Well, not until he finally realized that he could use his gold hand as a weapon. Yeah, he can block a sword with it. He can smack. And not a dude worry with about it. losing a hand. <laughs> exactly. He didn't have to go, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Pimp hand strong with this one. <laughs> that you know that was a good part. Like in the whole, let's talk about the whole White Walker. Like the whole big battle that came. You know, and it was, it was. This was eight seasons going. Like, and it, it got kind of big. What in season seven is when they started kind of really building it up right yeah but I, I think it's funny that the first scene of episode one is the white walkers and then you don't see them for seven fucking seasons but, but grizz grizz winter's coming it'll be here just wait winter is coming well, you realize we live in california and winter will be here for two days <laughs> and then it'll be spring again but when it's at coming. 100 and fucking 20 degrees. But it's coming. It's to coming. To other places in the country, maybe. Bundle yeah. up. Bundle up. Winter's coming. You know, it, it's, born it's funny. in California. There is no fucking hope for winter. It's funny because in California, it's completely backwards. We're like, summer's coming. <laughs> Everyone's like shutting their doors and shit. No, like, shut up. Summer. Summer's been here for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's the long. It's the long day. It's the long day. It's the long summer. The build-up to the White Walker, like the big White Walker battle, uh, was pretty badass. Like, I think the biggest part was when they went to the uh, the wild, the, like just just past the wall, and they and all those wildlings got attacked, right? Like, by the White Walkers while he was trying to recruit them, while Jon Snow mm-hmm. was trying to recruit them into uh, his more or less his ranks to help with the battle. And that, and before we get into that, the one of the other big battles was the Wildling Siege on the Wall, which was actually really badass. Giants and mammoths. <laughs> Giants and people climbing the wall and then when he when they released that pendulum, that was fucking awesome. Like taking out that whole sheet oh, of like ice. The, yeah, the whole like first like three sheets of ice it killed so many of those fuckers. Like the whole Jon Snow it's true identity it was a really big mind fuck. Like, you yeah. Think about it, the, I think I was watching a well, clip, and the wilding, the king, the guy that had the dark hair, when he first met them, there was a, there was some kind of like hidden message. In oh, there. he said something like, "You remind me of someone." I kind of get what you're saying. Yes. They were that just about. clicked. He said that it reminded him of, um. Jon Snow's father. Once I said, there was hints of who he really was all throughout the show. It, but there's so much little shit in this that, yeah, it does click, especially if you think about it. Like, there's stuff that you were looking up on, on the first part of this, Grizz, that, like, I didn't even think about until later on, you know, until you said it or you read it. And 
Oh, it's just it's mind blowing. No, they put they put a lot of hints. You just have to. And just so you guys know, we'll go ahead and get to it. Jon Snow is l- really a Targaryen. He's yes, like he is Daenerys's nephew. Yeah, he's a product of her oldest brother. Okay, her old sorry, her oldest brother and um, <coughs> John or not and Ned Stark's sister. Ned Stark's sister, who was supposed to who be was supposed to be married to who was married. Well, no, supposed to be um, uh, Robert, Robert Baratheon. Baratheon. Yes. So technically, Jon Snow, bastard of the Starks. He is half Targaryen, half Stark. Well, let's not talk about where he started boinking his aunt without even realizing it. And even after he fucking found out. Still boink the shit out of her. Still boinking her. And system that show is really not shocked. That was kind of sad because they actually cared about each other. They did. And I was actually shocked that Snow killed her. Yeah, but he had no choice. And then, do you guys think that Tyrion Lannister was pulling a little finger when he was talking to Jon Snow, or do you think he was, like, legitimate? I think he was No, legitimate. I think he was legit. I yeah. think he was legit. Because since season one, he's had a personal <laughs> connection with, with Jon Snow. Snow. Kind of makes sense and ties into what I read in, in yeah. the first episode. Yeah, I but agree. Think about it. Tyrion is the only Lannister... Without blonde or white hair. That's very true. Has Only. Had an obsession about dragons. Or what the fuck? Since he was little. Or what the fuck, Cersei? Yeah. He's the only Lancer didn't want to fuck Cersei. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's he, fucked he's up. He's the he's the only one that didn't. Oh God. Well, remember, he he I was. Remember, I remember his dad. Him and his dad had a talk, and his dad basically called him a bastard son. And said, I, I can't exactly remember it, but it was like they were sitting at the table and this party decided to get dad. About his dad talking about how, you know, he wasn't his son. Yeah, but that, that was a lot about him killing his mother when he was born, I'm assuming. But still, it also would make sense. I mean, like, and, and if you think about it, let's put this together, too. He killed his mother. Who else killed their mother when they were born? Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Yep. So that Targaryen blood, maybe it doesn't mix well with with anything else. Like maybe if you if maybe it kills the fuck any or maybe the women die when they give birth. I don't know, but that would make so much more sense. Yep. And maybe there's maybe there'll be like one episode three years from now where they're gonna be like, oh, guess what? Tyrion Lannister was really a Targaryen all along, and we'll be like, "Well, oh, yeah, we read that on online. Good job." Well, I always, I always thought he was, even when I watched the show. Yeah. I, why does he want to be with Danny? Why does he want to go there so much? Like, he had like an obsession with this dragon. Incest. <laughs> What? It's all about incest. incest. <laughs> it's all about incest. It's all about, it starts and ends. So. Okay, with the exception of the very end, and we will get to that soon, but the exception of the very end, worst moment in the show, like disappointment. Disappointment? Most disappointed that's not the end of the show. Cause I'm going to say the Red Woman death. That was exciting. That was- she just walked out and queefed and died. <laughs> and it, that was not fucking magical. Like... Like, the whole, like she's like, I'm going to die by the morning. And I was thinking, like, that bitch is going to get killed. And she walked out and just, like, walked into the sun, like, and turned into fucking Smeagol and then died. Huh. It wasn't, it I was very know. disappointing to me. Like, it wasn't, I understand, like, the, what's behind it. I understand that, like, you know, like, okay, I'm done being immortal or what the fuck she was. It was just time to fucking queef off into the, into the afterlife. But, no, n- uh, it wasn't, it wasn't enough for me. I wanted... I, that bitch has done so much harm to some of the good characters in the show that I wanted, like... But I, she has helped a lot of people. She helped, too, but she also, you know, she... That religion fucking killed so many innocent people just so they can win yeah. wars. And that right there, like, that right there is, like, bullshit. The bitch needed to die. Most disappointing for me was uh, season one. When they killed Ned Stark. Ned Stark. 
it broke my heart too. Go. Maybe when the Stark's mom and the brother dies, you know when they killed that. The Red Wedding? Yeah. Oh no, no, Cat Catelyn went out like a champ. She was gonna she slice did. that bitch's neck and she's like in the in the fucking the dad or whatever, the, the husband, the, the guy that's in charge of everything, that whole area, he's just like, fuck it, I'll just get another younger wife. Well, that shit was I great. Mean, I, I get that part, but I mean it was still sad. You didn't want her to die. I didn't want any of those starts to die. But if they didn't, Arya wanted to become the badass that she was. True. Yeah. Everything everything in this show forged another character. Like every little trial and tribulation, the because death Arya was pretty badass. She it, it fueled her revenge. It fueled it, uh, look, think about it. She'd go to bed at night saying a list of people she wanted yep. to kill. That fueled what she became. I wonder how many people on that list did she actually She said a few remember at the end she, she said a few killed all of them but one. Two. Two. Yeah. Well, no, three. Who's the third she one? Didn't she kill the she did Oh, she you're right. didn't get to Okay, four. She didn't get to kill Joffrey. That's she one. didn't get to kill Cersei. That's two. She didn't get to kill the mountain. Three. Because the hound did that for her. Well, she wanted the hound was on her list too at one point. So, there's your four. She didn't kill the hound. And let's talk about the hound. Top 5 favorite character right there. Oh, Hound. Yeah, the Hound. That's another His redemption story. His story was so amazing. His redemption story is up there with, like, with like Jamie Lannister, in my opinion. Because he started out yes. being a really bad, bad character, right? He was, like, he was literally Cersei and fucking Joffrey's lapdog, mm -hmm. you know? Well, my my, my favorite that. line from him in the entire thing is, Fuck you and fuck the king. <laughs> yeah, but fuck the queen. Fuck Joffrey. Fuck the queen. I think he was, like, forced to do it. I don't think he wanted to... No, he was a bad man. They wanted to show yeah. him. That's why he killed that... He took pleasure in killing. He killed that little... That uh, it, that kid. The kid, yeah, in the first one. He's just like... The, the baker's... Yeah, or uh, blacksmith, I think. But, yeah, uh, in the in the first part... In the first season, where, where that first... Where he gets to meet all those... All the characters. Where, where Joffrey uh, got his ass beat yeah. by Arya. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Hound, we got to see the Hound's redemption story start, like, when you see mm -hmm. him again after you thought he was dead. It, it was know? the next season. Mm-hmm. When, he, when yeah. he's at that, when he's at that, like, village, and he's just trying to keep to himself, and that, that man of the cloth, that, uh, that, that, it, it was, it, that guy was actually a big actor. He's been in a lot of, I can't remember his name, but he was. He the, was in Deadwood. Yeah, he was in Deadwood. Exactly. But he was, uh, he, he did, and he's a damn good actor. He's been in movies, but he, uh basically helped the the hound like kind of find, find his himself peace, yeah find his peaceful side <coughs> and find himself and then of course the people who like murdered that city or town or whatnot a village what have you basically helped him find his violent side all over again but he found like a in doing that he found a peaceful like middle he found a happy medium yeah, yeah. it found a middle ground and i even think at the end of it all him and kind of friends he loved her. He loved her as a child. Yeah, she was, as his own. He wants to kill his brother. And he did in epic proportion. And that of course, was a good battle. That yes, was a bad battle. because at that point, like science and magic and what have you, magister power, had changed his brother into this fucking monster. They're they're battling, and he and of course the the uh, hound is scared of fire. Like you, you see this throughout the series. So. Yeah, that's why the, where the fear of fire comes from. And there's other instances throughout the, the seasons where he has the same problem. Well, the very end fight between him and his brother, everything's burning around him. And, you know, we'll get to why it's like that. But everything's burning around him. And they literally pushes him off a, um, a broken part of the castle into the fire to where they both die. White Walker battle. Who wants to start? Where you have Bran the Broken as the Three-Eyed Raven... Who, who the, the the Night King wants to fucking murder. I, I want to say that was the first time that the Red Woman actually used her fire to actually help. That was actually beneficial to the storyline. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, not to hinder or hurt no one. Because <clears throat> it actually helped. They used the fire around like the perimeter of the actual castle. And it worked out. Um, winter, oh, winter. Winterfeld, right? Am I saying it right this yeah. time? Okay. Winterfell. Winterfell. Okay, because there's so many winter something in a video in video games and TV shows that I can say about 20 different things and it'll still be wrong. 
Winterfell. Like we were talking about earlier, we had uh, also known as Reek, who was that, that's the name he he didn't get to be called Theon Greyjoy when he was under uh, when he was being punished and when tortured. He was tortured. Yeah, he he didn't even get to have a name. But uh, he was broken. This is like pretty much where his redemption comes in. Like he takes the spear through the chest, and that Bran even told him like it's okay. Like you could, like he told him, like it's okay. You you you're doing what you meant to do. Because he said, "I'm sorry." So everything you've done up until now, you've you've been meant, you've been this been your destiny, more or less. And that, that, that's like this is like the brunt of his redemption story. <laughs> One of the most asked questions on Google is, "Did Theon die?" He got so what is dead may never die except when it does. Oh, true. Yeah, his legacy in that was, I mean, he, in my opinion. I don't. I forgot who I said was probably the best like redemption story, but I think he was the best redemption story, because he went yeah. from being a good guy to a really bad guy, like a really bad guy, and to then really fucked. to really fucked, and then like to being like a real like a almost like a, a lap dog of a really bad guy, and then saving the people who he betrayed. And at this point, and at this point, they didn't even have a really home a home to go to because their uncle had killed their dad and took over. Their yep. uncle was trying to get at Cersei. Oh, he did yeah, get he, at Cersei. He, he 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 got at her quite a few times. He he got yeah. the bone down on her. Come on, Cersei was a slut. You can't deny that. She she fucked her brother. She fucked her cousin. Cousin, what's your problem? Stop with the incest. The truth comes out in the what you write. The truth comes out in what yes yes. <laughs> Well, what is dead may you. never die. <laughs> so that that battle, the Battle of the White Walkers, literally ends. There's that pretty cool scene where they're fighting dragon against dragon. You got Jon Snow on one dragon. You got Danny on the Danny other on one. The you other. got you got the undead dragon with fucking what's his name. And there's a battle going on below them, and shit is just going bad. And I think this is where the second dragon dies. Yes. Yeah. So you lose the second dragon, and it looks like everything is just fucked. Like. Here comes. Brand's gonna die. Yeah, Brand's yeah. gonna die, and he and he and the whole time he knows. He, I know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. Well, do you think Bran knew exactly we kill kill him? Oh, of course, of course he, he knew did. everything. Bran, Bran was Bran knew, was was the three eyed raven from the past and everything from the future. He knew everything about everything about everything. So, uh, do you think he knew he was gonna be king at, at, at the end of all? Yes, of he, he even if says, you, if, "Why do you he, think I'm here?" Do you accept this task put before you? Why do you think? Why I do you am? think I came? Exactly. He even says that, baby girl. I didn't even think about that when he said that. Yes, he knew. Like, and at that point, you knew he knew. Let's talk about what the fate was of King's Landing. This is this is the final battle, the final final last battle of the show. This is after the White Walker battle, after the the. Uh, the Night King got killed by Arya. Yeah, but this is this is a moral. This is a big moral part of this the show. Like Danny, they're begging Danny to give everyone a break. Like in this, and even what's his name, uh, ja- uh, Jamie Lannister goes back to go. He has to go save his sister because he's a fucking idiot. Everyone's begging. Like even Jon Snow. Like don't do what you don't do. What's against you know what your what's against your good judgment. Don't go murder everyone. Those are people. Those are women, children, and just normal people in there. Don't do that. Now, in my opinion, at this point, everyone was already, like, really messed up because of that cult. In my mm-hmm. opinion. Everyone was already really, like, ruined because, like, their mind state and all that shit was fucked up because of that cult. And they were just bad people in my, most for the majority of them were just bad people to begin with. And this is where the big moral problem comes in. This is where you see, like, the true Daenerys. And the whole reason she snapped was because they cut her first lady's head off. Yep. I don't think if they would have, if they would not have killed her, I don't think she would have done that. You don't think so? I know Grey Worm was ready to fucking kill some people after that. That was, he didn't have a dick, but he wanted to dick that girl down. And that's what made Danny just Yeah, go. but do you remember the last thing that she said? What? I forget. She said the, um... No, the the word for um, burn. Dracarys. Jac- yeah, Dracarys. Uh, pretty much, you know, burn it down. Despite everyone's better judgment, Tyrion told her not to do it. John Stone Stone not told her not to do it. And at this point, people got to see the the vengeful Daenerys. 
And, yep. I mean, like, they didn't even give a chance. They just stormed that bitch. And Jon Snow's with him. Like, his, him and his group of, of, of you know, the army is with them. Northerners. And they, yeah. Northerners, and they just turned back. They're like, oh, no, this is fucked up. But at this well, point, yeah, the damage is done. People, they seen all those innocent people die. So, of course, yeah. they were... And then Arya is in there. She's she went in to go kill because she went. What's her name was on uh, Cersei. Cersei was on her list, so yep. she went in to go kill Cersei with the the Hound, and they went in the like the Hound was trying. The Hound was trying to stop her. Oh, well, towards yeah. the end, yeah. But he remember he brought her all the way to the uh, the castle. They were in that little war room where he changed yeah. her mind and told her to fucking leave. And then she leaves, and she gets to see, like, we through her eyes, we get to see all of the bad shit that's going on in town. Like, you see people, and she's yep. saving people. She's trying to be as helpful. And you get to see people burning to death. You get to see, like, the carnage. Of course, okay, so is there anything else you guys want to say about that final battle? Like, uh, we, we definitely got to talk about the Lan- the, the Lannis or Cersei and... and and, uh, and Jamie. Jamie. All they did, well, all they did was get, I mean... Smashed. She got killed by her brother. Well, was that a little disappointing for you guys? Like, she didn't get killed by her brother. They were supposed to get out. Like, there was an escape plan that didn't work. They got, they got crushed. They yeah. got crushed or something. They were underneath the castle in the catacombs getting ready to... They were supposed to go out, like, this secret way. That, so what had happened is they got crushed. They got killed, and, and they died together in each other's arms, and... Like, do you, do you guys think that was right? Like, what did you guys think about that? I wanted, honestly, I wanted the dragon to eat her. I agree with that, 100%. I don't think Jamie should have died, but... Not the yeah. way he did. Not that way. I think I, I, I would like to see him go down like a beast, like fighting something off. He died. He, he literally was death by vagina. <laughs> do you think their, their connection is closer because they are twins? Like the sexual connection or the love or whatever? Well, just the lo- I guess the love or because you know they like like oh. they always say you're going you're her. going straight to the hard questions. But you know, but I mean, think about it. Like he even talked to people and they were like, you can never leave her alone. Like he knew you're always together. Alone. Yeah, they're always together. Do you think that had to have been? It- well, I mean, okay, they they had they had the twin bond, which yeah. you know I'm not a twin, so I wouldn't know. They died, unfortunately, and then this time, about this time, the the uh, mountain and the hound fought, and you already heard their fate. And uh, they died. And they died. Towards the end of that, basically, um, Danny basically claims King's Landing as hers, and claims the Iron Throne. Yeah, claims. Finally. Yeah, and she and and here you got you know you got Tyrion who's already disappointed with her, and you have Jon Snow who's extremely disappointed with her, and he's been banging down on her. No, this is the question I got to you guys, and this is also, you know, all the questions we've been saying, feel free to talk about it down there. But do you guys think that Danny did the right thing? No. I don't think so either. You know, she let her emotions get the better of her, and because of that, her lover killed her. Yeah. Which, in my opinion, was just. The people would never accept her as their queen. Not now. Because of what she did. And she could not see that. She didn't want slavery and all that, but when it came down to it, she was going to demand them to bend the knee or die. Yeah. If that's not slavery, I don't know what is. That's a very good point. Yeah, Tyrion Lannister more or less gets arrested because he's like, I'm not going to be any part of this. And, and then Jon Snow visited him in the cell, and that's where they had that come to Jesus talk. Yeah. And, and that's right before he, like... They had this really beautiful talk, and he hugs her like, you know, like, I love you and shit, and stabs her ass. And then a very iconic moment happens where the dragon comes in, and you're like, oh, and shit. And melts the fucking Iron Throne. Yeah, but you think that he's going to melt fucking Jon Snow. See, what? that's why I understand. Why did the dragon kill him? Because he's, he's a, Targaryen. a Car- Targaryen. They are part dragon. She wasn't the only. She wasn't the only dragon. Well, I, I, I kind of, I, I kind of knew that, but I just, I don't know. I thought. But that's the theory. Honestly, I think if you want to look at, look past the theory, baby girl and Grizz, if you he look past pure. the theory, it was, it was because he was pure, and that that throne represented everything that's come to pass thus far, and worse. Exactly. And that and the dragon did what, like, I would say, what a deity would do. 
literally get rid of the evil that everyone wanted. They're like the one ring, right? Mm. Wait, well, okay, by this time, of course, Grey, uh, Grey Worm is demanding more or less Jon Snow's, Snow's head. head. Fast forward all the way to the point where Jon Snow is incarcerated because he killed uh, Danny, And they're like, no, we can't kill Jon Snow. He's been... You know, he's been a vital part of everything since day one. You know, he's been very helpful, yada, yada, yada. So, what did they end up doing with him, baby girl? They gave him to the... Night's Watch. Night's Watch. Night's Watch. He went back to the Night's Watch, and because there's just still a massive hole in uh, the wall, and there's really no reason to fight with the wildlings anymore... <laughs> They're all friends now because they're all friends now and they'll never have to worry about the white walkers again the, the effectively the night's watch has the largest army in the world because they have all the wildlings <laughs> I, I guess so I, I didn't even think of it like that i just thought of it like you see him walking in to the <clears throat> night watch and then see the wild him walking away with the wildlings I didn't. I don't think it really turned out that bad. You have you have Sansa who survived, and she's actually what she's like a she's like the queen of the north now, right? Happy ending there. You have Arya who's doing what she always wanted to do: explore. Arya the explorer. Arya the explorer. What's west of Westeros? Yes. Nobody knows. And then you have Bran who I mean honestly got the shit into the deal because he got the what he didn't want to do, but he's a fucking king. It's good to be king. You know what? I don't think he didn't want to do it. I just think that he didn't feel up to it. But at the end, he looked really happy that he would be. And then you have Tyrion, who, still alive, like, this guy has faced death and beat it, like, miraculous, Forrest gumped his way through situations. A million situations. times, yeah. A million times in this series. He's the hand of the king. Put there by Bran the Broken himself. But... In my opinion, and this is what I'm getting to, in my opinion, the ending really isn't that bad if you look at it a certain way. People, certain people are still alive that could have died. Certain people, you know, the, my my biggest disappointment was Danny. Like she was, yeah. she was the shining knight of light in, throughout this whole series. She did shit that like that like got you hyped. You were you were behind her, and then she goes straight dark side. She goes straight Anakin Skywalker. On the whole Nick. King's Landing, like it, it, you can't preach goodness and light and happiness and butthole rainbows from unicorns, and then like do something like that. Realistically, she was bringing flames to flame them. So realistically, she was Hitler's great, 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 great grandmother. Twice I'm gonna have to find a picture of her and put a Hitler stash on her now. Thanks, Grizz. <laughs> so, like, here's the question: Those of you who are watching this, what did you think of the ending? What did you? Th what was your favorite part? What was your most disappointing part? It wasn't the ending. You know, all the, all the stuff that we talked about. Feel free to bring that up. Uh, it was a great show. I would watch it again. I recommend if you guys haven't watched it. If the, what we say piques your interest, you know. If you like a lot of incest, <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the show to, show to watch. Like, if you want shit that's going to blow your fluffy wiener, fluffy if you want shit that's going to blow your mind in in a show, like not just that, but a anything. There's a lot of really like twisty moments in the show that that blows your mind, and it's really good. So before we go, Grizz, there's something we we were talking about talking about. There is some nerd news. So recently, we, as in Wild, <laughs> has uh, procured a site for something that many of you have been asking about. <laughs> but not seriously. Merchandise. Merchandise. We got a merch store, guys. We actually have t-shirts and hats. In multiple colors. Yeah. They say, stay nerdy on the front and... Always, Always on the back. On the back. So, yes. if you guys are interested, I'll put a link below. Uh, if you want one, you want one. We might even do a giveaway in the future for one. Like, we're still on that drive for five. We're getting closer to that drive for five, by the way. We are getting very close. And uh, 
So, I mean, that might be something that I put in with whatever I give away, we give away at that point. So, uh, definitely check that out if you guys are interested. Again, guys, we want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week on episode 116. Till then, we want you to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always. <laughs>